Hey, what's going on guys? Braden here and today we're taking a look at the Safari Limited 2019 Camarasaurus. And, okay, a little history. Any of you guys who saw the initial uh, Safari leak will know that this is one of the two figures Bionicle-saurus received. Safari, hit me up! Um, for the preview of the 2019 lineup. And when I saw this guy for the first time, I was a bit mixed on him. I liked some things I saw. I didn't like other things I saw. So ultimately I decided I would probably skip on this guy. Then I started rethinking and I thought, well, I have a Diplodocus, I have an Apatosaurus, I have a Brachiosaurus, I don't have a Camarasaurus because Camarasaurus, of the Morrison sauropods, Camarasaurus tends to be the one that gets forgotten. Mainly because it's the smallest of the notable ones. It's not really that interesting looking. Like, it's it's a Macronarian, but it's not as interesting looking as Brachiosaurus. And it's just kind of bland uh, as far as um, sauropods go. Which is a shame, because Camarasaurus is one of the best known sauropods. I think it is the best known uh, in the fossil record. We know it from more complete specimens than any other sauropod genus, I think. I don't know, I'm not really an expert on the Morrison formation, but I did do a little bit of uh, looking in to Kamarasaurus where I made this. But anyways, um, this guy is actually Safari's second Kamarasaurus, because there was one for the Carnegie collection they did, which actually kind of looks similar to this guy. Kind of. There's a bit of a resemblance, but if you look at the two of them side by side, there's definitely a difference in style. And this guy is huge. Like, I knew he was big, um, from seeing the images of my... Uh, it's one of those figures you just have to have it in your hand to actually see how huge this thing is. This thing was kind of hefty. He actually was kind of difficult to get out of the box. He was that heavy. Of course, now I can just lift him with one hand, but <laughs> he was covered in paper, though, so it was hard to get a grip on him. However, there are some problems with this figure that some people have pointed out. The most notable one being the paint job is unfortunately a little bit sloppy and similar. It looks fine for the most part. Like, the gray tan and this brown going down the back, that looks fine for the most part, but there is a little bit of sloppy paint application, mainly this side of the head, usually the two sides look a bit different. Now that could be argued as just asymmetry in the actual animal, but Safari's figures are hand painted, so it could be they just didn't feel like painting it. And another thing, this is not really a big problem for me personally, but like a lot of Safari sauropods, it isn't very well detailed. Unlike, say, oh, I don't know, the Safari Pteranodon, which has all this um, nice little uh, pinko fiber sculpting going across pretty much the whole mold. Uh, this guy, not so much. You've got a bunch of wrinkles. Yes, he does, unfortunately. He's one of the few Safari figures known to suffer from elephantine wrinkle syndrome. It's a sad day. And jeez, I haven't used that joke in a while. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, but I guess that makes sense, considering it's a huge figure and... Kids probably aren't going to notice. It'll probably cost a little bit. But um, there's another problem I have with this figure. And that's unfortunately has to do with the size. Because this figure is... Actually, hold on. There's a ruler right there. I'm going to measure this guy up. Tip the tail. Okay, come on. Um, this guy is... About 15 inches. And I'm sorry for those of you who don't use the crappy U.S. system. I don't know how much that would be for you guys. But about 15 inches, almost, this guy is. Um, that's nice that it's a huge figure, but it makes a huge scale problem. This is the Safari Diplodocus from last year. Last year, Safari decided, for whatever reason that all their sauropods have to be in the same scale as one another. Because this guy and the Safari Amargosaurus is this too, but I don't have that with me right now. And I assume at least the Safari Malawisaurus, which I don't even have, is around the same scale as these two as well. Which is really unfortunate, just because it's... It, Camarasaurus was not this big. It's not this big compared to Diplodocus. And that can get a little distracting if you're just one of those people who have a, are a fanatic for the dinosaurs being in the right scale. But overall, it, it's not too distracting. And overall, this is a pretty nice little figure. Um, if you're a fan of sauropods, especially if you're a fan of underrepresented sauropods, Kamarasaurus is one of those that you see quite commonly, but it just doesn't get that many toys because it's not glamorous compared to other sauropods. So I would recommend getting this guy. I just realized his claws are not painted. 
But yeah, that's a minor flaw, I can ignore that. But anyways, if you want to get this guy, eh, go ahead. If you're a fan of sauropods, you'll probably like this guy.